In this video, we're going to talk about the ways astronomers use to determine the age of stars. And trust me, it is not an easy task. First of all, it's very hard for astronomers to determine the age of a single star. What they do is look at groups of stars instead. The general estimation is much easier when a star is in a cluster. This is possible because all of the stars in a cluster typically form at around the same time. But keep in mind that they don't necessarily all have the same properties. So now, astronomers determine the mass and luminosity of a range of stars in one cluster, because it's easier to determine their overall age. Astronomers often use a plot called the Hertzsprung-Russell diagram to measure the temperature or color of a star versus its luminosity. More massive stars are bluer, meaning they are hotter and have a higher luminosity. The smallest stars, on the other hand, are redder, so they are cooler and have low luminosity. Most stars spend the majority of their lives in the main sequence phase, and how long they remain in that phase is directly correlated to the mass of the star. When stars run out of fuel, they enter a much less stable period, where they can expand, collapse, go supernova, form neutron stars, or black holes. By knowing the mass of the star, we know how much fuel it has. Meanwhile, the brightness tells us how fast it is burning that fuel. Now that we have all this information, we can roughly calculate the age of the star, and then the age of other stars in the cluster. But what about lone stars? The ones that aren't in clusters? Determining their age is much more difficult. However, we're going to talk about that in the next video. So please stick around. If you like this channel and want to support us, Please subscribe and hit the bell icon.